Well, the countdown is on for the third presidential debate. Now just hours away, the top 10 candidates meeting the strict new standards set by the DNC to make it onto that stage. ABC's Serena Marshall is in Houston with what we can expect in our top story at midday. Debate number three, just hours away, and the candidates... <laughs> Not necessarily sticking to their typical prep. From Beto O'Rourke jamming out to Andrew Yang playing some ball. And protesters preparing too. 22 Greenpeace activists planning to block the transportation of oil and gas through the Houston Shipping Channel for 24 hours. But it's here on this stage in Houston where in just a few hours the top 10 candidates will square off. In the middle of the stage, the front runners, former Vice President Joe Biden, for the first time facing off with Elizabeth Warren standing right next to him. And on Biden's other side, Bernie Sanders. The visual juxtaposition, putting the party's ideological divide out for Americans to see side by side. Biden's team already taking aim at Warren's I have a plan for that mantra, telling ABC News, we need more than plans. We need a president who can deliver progress. I think that we start with a plan and uh, then we get out there and fight for it. Um, to me, that's what being president is all about. But that phase off among the top candidates could prove problematic. They have to figure out a way to create conflict by using Donald Trump or by using the Republican Party to create conflict with among, the, among the other candidates. That's something Kamala Harris plans to do, and Julian Castro, too. Getting ready to say goodbye to Donald Trump, and then I'm going to tell him, adios. President Trump's team not sitting idly by. Well, he says there's a chance he'll tune into the debate. His campaign plans to fly a banner over Houston, painting the entire Democratic Party as the party of socialists. Serena Marshall, ABC News, the Democratic debate in Houston.